The worst case scenario at JAWS is definitely death. It doesn't matter how much training you do, it doesn't matter how prepared you are, how much safety equipment you have. If it's, if it's the wrong situation, you're, you, that's it for you. Big wave paddle surfing has come a long way just in the last couple of years. At Piahi, at JAWS on Maui, it's never really been paddled on big days before, ever. It's so big and so perfect. It's, it's unlike any other wave on Earth that I know of. I'd actually been out there for a few hours at that point, and so I had just kind of like that creepy feeling. It was kind of overcast, and the, and the sun was going down, and um, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna try and find a small one in. And, and as soon as that thought kind of entered my head, a giant set came, and it was about a minute out, and I could see it just kind of stacking on the horizon. And I was pretty far out already. I went over the first wave, and the second wave was just this giant monster wave, and um, the thing looked absolutely perfect. And it didn't have any chop on the face. It didn't have any weird things going on. And it was literally just a perfect wave. And so I turned around, paddled for it, and it let me right in, and, and I got to my feet. And I was really nervous. I thought, you know, am I too deep? Am I not? Am I in the perfect spot? Am I not? And I was just thinking, this is this is just a cakewalk. You know, it's a giant, gnarly wave, but it's but it's just perfectly clean. And and then halfway down the face, there was this giant boil in the in the wave. It was basically like a big air bubble coming up from the reef. And uh, I saw it coming, and I, you know, I'm riding this giant board, and there's no way to avoid that. So I just had to kind of brace myself to, you know, try and get over the boil in one piece. And I almost went over the handlebars. I mean, I, I, I hit that thing, and my board slows down. You can see actually on the video on the close-up where my board actually it looks like it hit a speed bump. And I just kind of made the, this wide kind of survival stance. And um, I got over that, and as soon as I got over that and started to set my rail, all the water just got, it seemed like the water was draining off the reef perfectly, exactly what you'd want. And I had this moment where I was like, God, I made this thing already. I hadn't even got into it yet, and I, I put my hands out to the side. And as soon as I did that, I was just, you know, so excited and I guess in the moment. And as soon as I did that, I was like, wait, I'm not even halfway through this thing yet. And so, I instantly put my hands back and I widen my stance and I go back to survival mode and I could feel the spit about to happen. You know, I could see the wave change in shape and this gigantic spit blows me out and uh, I almost fell off. It was just, it seemed like there was so much um, velocity, whatever you want to call it, just so much water moving up the face and then the spit spitting just past my head and there was, uh, there was a couple guys on jet skis right there and a couple guys on boats and, and um, I could hear those guys, you know, screaming. And, and uh, I just remember thinking, man, if I make this, this is probably the best wave I've ever caught in my whole life, you know? Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, Shane Dory just got the biggest barrel ever paddling, hands down. I kind of knew as long as I um, surfed it correctly, I was in the perfect spot. And it was almost like, time slowed down, it was it was just absolute perfection. I'd never been on a wave that was that big and that perfect before. It was, uh, it was one that I'm gonna remember for a long time. In those moments, you really tell yourself, when I get that moment, I'm gonna really enjoy myself. I'll look around, listen to what's happening. But really, you know, the only thing I remember is how it felt. Like I said, I've been surfing a long time since I was five years old and felt like the best wave I've ever caught in my whole life.